So this week we're expecting the European Commission to announce its strategy on platforms, which is called a communication. The good thing is that the Commission's listened. It's had a consultation over the last year and it's decided, we think, not to treat all platforms the same. Of course, platforms are very different. You've got some platforms which are newspapers on the internet, uh, connected cars are platforms, e-commerce sites are platforms, search engines are platforms. They're all different, so you've got to regulate them differently and that's the right approach. Two of the major areas where we, we think the Commission needs to be very careful in what it does are on audiovisual rules and on copyright reform. Why so? On audiovisual rules, one of the most important things is to have a digital single market and therefore to have rules which we call country of origin. So that means if a company is based in the Netherlands, that they can do business under Netherlands rules and not have to follow the rules of every one of the 28 countries in which they have customers. That's why we have a digital single market and not a digital multiple market. Secondly, in copyright, we're expecting the Commission to address something that it calls the value gap. We think there's actually a value surplus and the creative industries derive a huge amount from the investments of technology companies, the very risky investments of technology companies. And we need to make sure that they reform copyright in an appropriate way, which is good for users and good for technological innovation and, of course, good for creators who get rewarded. And what they must be careful of is to avoid pushing companies outside of the e-commerce directive. So today, if someone does something naughty on, a, on an internet platform uh, and then that content is taken down, that's entirely appropriate. That's the responsible behaviour of platforms. In the future, however, the Commission is talking about whether it might push certain types of behaviour for copyright protected material like photos or videos or comments outside the e-commerce directive protections. And that would be very bad for internet innovation and for internet users.